Hi, I'm Rob, N1NUG. Today I've got another video in my ham radio fox hunting series. Today I want to talk about this 70 centimeter Yagi that was constructed by Bill, KC1JTS, to be used with some, I'll call it a little bit unconventional fox hunting direction finding methodologies. Now I do have another video detailing this antenna a little more. If you want to see that, you can check the link in the description below when you're done with this video. The first sort of unconventional thing that I can do with this antenna is to just simply try and receive a two meter signal with it. And the reason that's unconventional is because this antenna is cut for 70 centimeters. Now it'll still work. It'll receive the signal if I'm close enough to it and it'll still be directional. It just won't be real strong. And that's what we want when we're close in to a strong signal. Now, for example, I've got a transmitter set up just behind the camera about 100 feet or so. Now, if we were using the two meter antenna right now, the Yagi, I wouldn't be able to get a direction because whichever way I pointed it, the signal would still max out on the signal meter on my radio. But because this antenna is not efficient at two meters, I should be able to receive the signal strong when I'm sort of pointed at it and not receive it or receive it weakly when I'm not. Let's try it and see how it works. I had to back up about another hundred feet for this to kind of be effective and show up on the camera properly. Anyway, you can see we're getting about maybe half scale or third scale or so on the radio right now. And I've got the antenna pointed more or less right at the signal. Now if I move it away, you can see the signal drops out. And if I kind of spin it around 360, you can see we kind of lose the signal, it's pretty weak. And if I bring the antenna around so it's pointing back at the signal, you can see it's picking it up again. Now the second and arguably more effective technique that I'm going to talk about that this antenna can be used for is trying to search for the third harmonic of the transmitter's signal. And again, this is a technique that you would use when you're in close proximity to a transmitter and the fundamental two meter frequency is so strong that you just can't get a bearing on it anymore. Now, in case you're not familiar, basically what the third harmonic is, is a fancy way of saying the third multiple of the frequency that you're searching for. Now, for the purposes of our little test here, the fundamental frequency that I'm using is 146.550 megahertz in the two meter band. If I just multiply that by three, I get 439.650 megahertz, which happens to be in the 70 centimeter ham band. And that's convenient, especially if you have a dual band HT that at least has receive capability in the 70 centimeter band. So again, I've got that transmitter set up. Well, now it's about 200 feet behind the camera or so, and it's transmitting on 14655, as I mentioned. But I've got my old Alinko DJ1G. I've got it tuned to 439.65 right now. And of course I'm using Bill's antenna, which is cut for 70 centimeter. And I should be able to search for that third harmonic frequency just as if I were searching for a two meter signal. So we've got the antenna pointed more or less right in the direction of the signal now, and you can see it's quite strong on the signal meter. But if I turn the antenna away, you can see the signal drops out to nothing as I get away from it. And if I come back towards it, you can see that it comes right back up to almost full scale. Now the reason this works, especially when we've got a Baofeng based transmitter that we're searching for, is because we are taking advantage of sort of a design problem of the radio. Now inherently, the way that radios kind of work is that they tend to have signal spikes at every odd multiple of their transmit frequency. Now, better quality radios like an Alinko or maybe a Yezu or an Icom or a Kenwood are gonna have those harmonic frequencies kind of filtered out and suppressed so that they don't cause interference on other bands. However, a radio like a Baofeng or something kind of low end like that doesn't have as much filtering or maybe even any filtering in it to suppress those odd harmonics because the third harmonic of a two meter frequency happens to land in the 70 centimeter band, we can kind of exploit that problem with the Baofeng radio and use it to our advantage to find that signal. So let me know down in the comments, have you guys ever used either of these techniques when out on a fox hunt? And if you haven't, do you think it's something that you would try going forward? I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.